I know everyone was talking about it after the fact, and you'd hear reports on the news about the damage done, and you'd think that we were in a war zone, and that all of this was done for religious purposes, and people's lives were at stake, and maybe they were, and I just don't know it. I don't know. I, I know what it's like to have a cause, but I never try to close people out to it. I try to include them, to open them up to it. But I remember once deciding to go for a walk to a women's parade called Take Back the Night so that people would know that women should feel safe walking alone in the streets at night without worrying about being mugged or raped or killed because they were female. Well, anyway, I was walking to this parade to take photographs because I'm a photographer, I'm a photojournalist, and a group of women were walking in a group to the parade. So I walked down the street and started walking with them, and they were chanting and singing, and I thought, wow, this is unity, people together for a cause. And one of the women told me while we were walking that some of the women didn't like me walking with them because I was white and they were African American. And I looked around and I noticed that there wasn't a racial mix. And I said, well, we're all going to the same place. And the woman replied, well, some people don't like you walking with us anyway. So I turned my head and I let them walk and I crossed the street and I took another block and I got there before them. And this is how we define how we should be separated, I guess. Though I still don't understand it. And during the parade, I heard about a trial where cops got off after brutally beating a black man, and the black community was outraged, saying that the white man was holding them down, and maybe in a way they were right, but I didn't know the story, and I didn't understand it. A, a large group of people started their own rally that night, which seemed to take center stage over women's rights. I mean, when we're just women, what are they going to do? Bitch a little louder or complain a little more? But then again, maybe it's just a matter of deciding who has the louder voice or who has the most recent problem to complain about, I don't know. Well, we went out that night, and I heard the next day that in light of the trial, 23 fires were started on school property, and most of them were of books in libraries. And I thought, this isn't non-resistant violence. This is out not violent, and what they're destroying are opportunities for learning and not ideas. Yeah, but these are the books that the white man wants you to learn. This is how they alter our perceptions. I, I don't know, but burning libraries doesn't solve anything, and this isn't the answer. Then I heard about one of my best friends, a white man, hit once by a black man in the street while they were out for the night. And the doctor said that they must have had a whirl of quarters in their hands or brass knuckles because it was such a clean break of their jaw. And for six weeks, he had his jaw wired shut and he had to throw pizza or meatloaf into a blender so he could eat something other than ice cream while he tried to recover. And I thought, are we getting anything done? Are we coming any closer to racial harmony? What are we learning from this? Thank you.